Welcome back, my pilots. It's time to play some more Bloodborne. So in the last episode, I wiffle waffled as to whether or not I should actually uh, show you guys the route here. And we'll go ahead and do it, just because I think it's interesting. So there's actually another way to approach Jura. You don't have to come down that very exposed to gunfire ladder. Also, I adjusted the volume settings to make the game a little bit louder, so let me know if it's too loud now, and I'll turn it back down. I think it's a, a good balance. I noticed before that the characters in cutscenes, they talk quietly compared to the game audio anyway, but they were talking real quiet. So I wanted to give them a little bit more, a little bit more volume to work with. Come here, you. Oh, that's some, that's some mustard right there. Who's, who's still growling? Let me use my axe for this, because these guys are actually really, really easily killable with the axe. Y'all want to be interested in me? Hello. I'm trying to get the enemies to aggro without aggroing Jura. I keep calling him Jura. Is it Jeru? Jer Jeru? Gerald? Gerald. Josephine. Something. Jim. Jimmy. He's dead, Jim. Come here, you. Whoops. Once more with feeling. Alright. Oh. We got stuff. Thanks for the stuff. So, I think I still hear a guy up here. I don't want to aggro Jura just yet. So down here, which is the path we took last time, actually. Oh, oh! That is satisfying. So the other hunter we killed last time is not going to respawn, but uh, these guys will be. Let me bring my torch back out. Oh. So this is our other path. You can see Jura's up there, and yet he sees us. I was waiting for him to set that off. But if whoa, <laughs> hello. If we're quick, we can make it across this room. Grab some of this loot. The explosions from those are actually surprisingly small. And then we can head over here. Watch out for birds. There we go. I get some bloodstone shards, and I'm sure. Oh, antidotes! Wow. Usually the birds just have pebbles. So. It's a surprising find, but I'll take it. Dang, I thought I could get both of them. Nice. The power attack on this thing is really cool. Hello! Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie doo. Hello. Please don't poison me. Nice. Got the full charge on him, too. Didn't think he was going to give us quite enough time. I actually let go of the trigger early, but it happened to go through because I was there just long enough for it to be considered fully charged. Out here, we just got to be careful because there are spots where Jira can see you, and there are spots where his bullets will be defeated by these impenetrable trees. So we have to try and find the sort of shadows in his minigun coverage if we're going to fight these guys down here. As you can see, the torch is making this guy very unsure about whether or not he wants to fight us. The answer was no. He did not want to fight us. Yeah, so this is the secondary path to get up to Jiro. I was scratching my nose at the wrong time. Come here, you. Oh! And cut. And over here, there's more guys, but you don't want to fight him right here, because Jira can see you here. So, we'll just step away for a second here. Oh, 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 apparently you can see that far out. Basically, if you're close enough to the tower, he... Oh my. They're teaming up on me. You know what we don't want. One thing you really want to avoid is getting caught in between being stunlocked by a minigun and being murdered by an, an enemy. Alright, and just like that, we're back to Jura. So... It's really easy to cheese him. I screwed it up last time, but 
You basically just shoot him four times in rapid succession as soon as you come up the ladder. But I don't really want to cheese him. I want to try and actually fight him. So as you can see, it didn't take us that long to get back here. What was... Why isn't my stopwatch showing up on my phone? Come on, phone. Get your shit together. Okay, it is still running. Yeah, five minutes. It took us five minutes to do all that. So if we want to try this again, it'll only take us another five minutes. So I'm going to give this at least one attempt where I actually try to fight him. And oftentimes, in, in the process of actually fighting him, you get an opportunity where you can blast his ass off the ledge. Do I have the gun equipped or the torch? Dang it. I love the fast descent. Okay, let's take the gun out. Just because... I fully expect it to be more useful than the torch against Jura. I don't know the actual, what, do you, what would you call it, the visceral timing for him. So I may try for some of those, or I may just try the quality approach of getting good, basically. Yeah, he has a blunderbuss, and it's a very small roof. So you're pretty much going to get stunned by that every time he does it. That wasn't the right timing, apparently. Neither was that. Oh, he also throws Molotovs, so be careful. I should oh. think you still have I'm gonna fall off! Ah! Uh, well, <laughs> next time you dream, well looks like I'm editing this episode too. Cause I'm gonna try that again. I wanna actually fight him. I don't wanna I don't wanna cheese him. And I was going okay until I got a little overly aggressive, so I'll just run back there again and give it another shot. Oh, good news actually. I uh for those of you who were curious. Uh, my, I upgraded my computer recently. I mentioned it in the Discord a few times and had to end up getting a new motherboard because the one I got didn't work and blah blah blah. Point is, uh, my PC's upgraded. I have better graphics cards and better, uh, actually a faster CPU, substantially faster. I think, one, I think the one I had before scored like a 10,000 in some benchmarks and the new one's like 15,000, so it's like a 50% improvement. But basically, it means that my computer renders really fast now. I actually render 30 FPS 1080p video at a, a, a slightly less than the length of the video. So like a 50 minute, 50 minute video will only take like 45 minutes to render. And if it's 60p or 60 frames per second, uh, then I'm gonna, it'll take twice as long, but it's still pretty dang fast for full HD rendering. And the cool thing is that Weirdly, even though Bloodborne is a PS4 game, PS4 still runs at 30 FPS, so it's not actually... It's actually kind of handy, because it means I can... When I have to go in and edit these episodes, I can render them really quickly. And the other thing I learned is you can actually use VLC Media Player, the, the best media player there is, to convert files from one type to another. And you can convert the FLV files that this makes, that uh, OBS makes, into mp4s and then vegas will will know what to do with them once they're mp4s oh no that was close come on come at me bro whoa whoa oh damn yeah, stop it seriously with the, with the no no stop it with the blunderbuss dude Such a small roof. As you can see, he's quite fast too. And if you try and get it up on his grill, it'll blunderbust the shit out of you. I'm going late on that, apparently. Got you, motherfucker! Wow, that did almost nothing. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's tough. Ooh, that was a big wind-up for that one. 
I'm gonna punish you for that one, buddy. Let's knock his ass off. Oh shit! Oh god! Huh. 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 Come here, you. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Scrub Lord. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, you I shot right over his head. Back up off of me. That one's really easy to time because he winds up for a long time. Okay, I need more bullets. So I'm gonna do this and then heal. Oh, he's fucking got blood vials too? God damn. This is gonna take all goddamn day. Alright, you know what? Shit! Alright, alright. Alright, Jira. Alright, Jiru. Let's see if I can cheese him. Because if he's got blood vials, we're gonna be up here forever. God, that blunderbuss has a lot of damage. No, you don't. Stop it! No, if it's done, ho! Oh! You didn't. I should oh. think you still have dreams. Okay. Well. Well, I died in the animation of stabbing myself with a healing thought. item. That's a little frustrating, actually, because <laughs> I dodged the attack when he failed to capitalize on his visceral. And then I was in the animation for healing when he killed me. It's like, oh, okay. It's not instant. That's the thing with this game that makes it... It makes it more interesting. Is that you can't just pause at any old time and uh, get your... You know, eat eat a hundred apples or something like you can in Skyrim or or something like that. There's there's no pause the action I, I need to, to drink a million health potions button, you know? You gotta just go for it. I haven't found a way to get down here without taking a little bit of fall damage, unfortunately. As you can see, though, it's pretty quick to... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's pretty quick to get back through the staff and uh, run back up to fight him again. That's the good news, if there is any here. Oh, this guy's gonna fucking... Will you, would you stop? Would you kindly? Anybody else want some? Alright. Oh, Vials, thanks. I can hear a lot of moaning down here. Alright, so I think we're learning how to deal with Jura. And we're gonna want something that... Do we have any other clothes that reduce damage from... Blood defense? Yeah. We want more blood defense because that's what his uh, weapons are going to be doing. It's actually the same. Okay. Uh, having slightly better blood defense just means that his blunderbuss isn't going to do quite as much damage to us. I'm also going to be more restrained. Really? We're doing this again? This green's black. Come on now. Cut it out. It's back now. It was actually showed up in the video the other day. It's very upsetting to me when that happens too. All right, here we go. That's how you cheese him. One more shot and he would have fallen off. No, you don't. Back up. That has such a huge range. This rooftop, it's so hard to dodge. Oh, oh, okay, cool. I should think <laughs> you still have dreams. God damn it, Jera. Well, Jero. next time. Geraldine. Give some thought. Why are you on such a tiny platform? Well, so far we've died twice from falling off, and he has died zero times. From any cause. I'll edit this out. Alright, let's find out if my echoes are on top of the tower or if they are lost somewhere. So I fell off right over here. Oh, they're here. Okay, cool. 
Fuck you, starting off with that shit. What'd you find? Wow, he just about comboed us out immediately. You're making us be patient, Jera. Alright, let me see if I can't get him to come a little closer to the edge. Come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man. So big and so strong. Come a little bit closer. I'm gonna knock you off the edge, Jira. No! 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 No, you fucking... Just fucking fall off, Jira! Fall off, Jira! Son of a bitch! Well, the next it covers time so well. Dream, dream. Give some thought. To the hunt and its purpose. For some reason, his, his, his dialogue is cut off there. Let's try this again. Yeah, shake that ass! Look at that. Look at all that Kirk hammer back there. <laughs> oh, man. Echoes? Echoes. Hey, Jura. What you doing, buddy? How'd you know I was here? Switching to the axe. Because I'm going to try and kite him over to one of the edges again. And I think the axe will have a little bit more of a knockback on him. Oh, unless he's firing his gun, then he's just got his feet rooted to the ground, apparently. What? How did you get- Oh, you guys can climb ladders. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Holy cow. Oh, we got the Powder Keg Hunter badge. That's what he dropped for us. God damn it. Oh, well, that was fun. Goodness gracious. That was ludicrous. Outstandingly ludicrous. Alright, so now we can continue exploring further into Old Yurnum. There's some paths we can take here where we can drop down. Oh, also, there's some uh, oil suspended here above a area where there's a bunch of enemies. So we're going to want to knock that down. And, uh, yeah, burn the ever-loving shit out of them. It's pretty great. Alright, let's see if I can't See if I can do this without falling off. Don't the platforming. Oh man. The only thing more nerve-wracking than the platforming in this game is like the last tiny sliver of a boss's HP when you have zero blood vials left, you know? <sighs> yeah, okay. So now we can drop down. Don't jump, just jump straight down. Alright, right here. The Molotovs. We want to go over to that. So we're going to use our jump. Very nice. And this is the Bloody Messenger Head Bandage. It is clothes for the messengers. It's decoration. It's a little weird, but you know, there it is. The other thing is, it becomes kind of a puzzle how you're supposed to get down from here after this. I think there's a beam we can land on. God, it's hard to see. I'm gonna line this up. Oh, almost overshot. That was close. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come over here, buddy. Come here. Come a little bit closer, you might kind of man. <laughs> that was great! Oh, oh, oh. Oopsie daisy. Big old Kirk hammer. Everybody's on fire. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Is this a chalice we've heard so much about? No, just, just some ritual blood. 
Not what we're looking for here. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Back up. Back up, motherfucker. Now we can go around and take out the rest of these guys. This guy's just too scared of the fire. He not do anything. Free kill. Also, they keep shrieking. They're like alerting everybody else that we're here. Which I think is cool. Come here. Yeah, he didn't walk into it. There he goes. Now your AI is on. Oh, you're not dead. There we go. <laughs> How about this? Or this? There should be more, I believe, in this hallway up here. And there's certainly... No? Okay. There must be at least one more up here, though. This guy loves to troll me. So many times I've been fighting him, I've gotten killed by someone else coming up behind me. So now I'm super conscious about that doorway over there. Does this door over here look really small to you guys? Oh, it's like a window. Okay. It's like, what the hell? I thought it was just one of the doors you couldn't open. Also, there's a couple guys still up here. So the ones that have red eyes are actually going to deal poison-type damage to us. Slow poison, because it's, it's the early game still. But all the same, it's something we want to be careful to uh, avoid, if at all possible. Ooh, item. Hello? Hello? That's more like it. Antidotes, yes. It's like... The sign of a of a designed RPG experience. You're always gonna find antidote right before the poison enemies show up. You know. Hope you have burn heal. So now that we've explored this, I don't know what you would call it. Sort of a of a cathedral here. The old Yarnum Cathedral again with another weirdly crucified monster. This one actually is pretty cool looking. Let me show you. It's got really long claws on its feet back down there. And then up here has like a a cloak of what looks like congealed blood or something, and then you can see like its eyes are popping out of its head, and oh, it's crazy, dude. So if we explore outside now, we will find a shortcut. It'll take us back. Oh, there's another cathedral over here. It's like destroyed though. Fuck Rose! Sweet! Sweep the leg! Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, the axe in this case. And we get a pebble for our efforts. Thanks. Bloodstone shard. Ooh, spooky tomb. You can see we're actually down below the bridges that we were on earlier in the game. Although from this perspective, they're a low-poly render. They don't quite look as nice. Oh, but if you look across the way here... You can actually see oh, an area that we're going to be in a little while. And if we look real carefully, you might spot someone trying to be sneaky. So now we can open up a shortcut for ourselves. Although I'm not going to actually go back to the lantern just yet because this next area is not super dangerous. Well, famous last words, right? If we go back up this ladder here, We'll be on the other side of a door that we were blocked by previously. So now, if we come back out this way, we're right at the bottom of the ladder that we go up to to fight Jura. So now we can go from the old Yarnum lamp up there down here to downtown Yarnum a lot faster. God, that is so oddly satisfying. Don't understand it, but there it is. All right, so let's proceed. We are we are on our way to a pretty nasty boss. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat it in this episode. If I can beat it first try, it'll probably be this episode. Although I guess I've been cutting stuff out, so my timer is probably off by a few minutes. There are some times when the lantern actually makes these guys more annoying to fight, because they just keep backing up like that. Other times it saves you when you have a bunch of enemies around and them being afraid of fire is what keeps you from being overwhelmed. Come here, you. Whoop! Oh, whoop! You were very patient, sir. I commend your efforts. I'm gonna make sure we don't get 
caught up in fighting this guy and forget about another one. Because there are, there are a bunch of werewolves down here, man. This is Werewolf Central now. Yep, there's the other one coming up around the way here. So these guys are actually great for grinding. If you can get to a point where you can fight these guys relatively consistently... Also, always assume they're going to be aggressive. They're one of the most aggressive enemies in the game in terms of just running up and getting hit by your charge attacks. They're worth like a thousand blood echoes, and they almost always drop uh, either... They either drop blood vials, but most of the time they drop blood shards. Bloodstone shards. So they're very, very valuable, because you can sell bloodstone shards to the messengers for 200 echoes. So it's like extra 200 echoes for every one you kill. And on top of that, the plus seven shards are what we need to upgrade our weapons for the first few levels. So this is the point in the game where you could grind for a while with these guys and get to a point where you can actually start to... Uh... Oh my god! Actually start to try out different weapons because you'll have enough echoes and shards to buy and upgrade them. The Kirk Hammer! Which is pretty handy. Remember the guy that was being sneaky? There he is up there, he's so sneaky. So we're just gonna... I'm going down this alley. Fuck you! Now we can take our hand up his butt. Tear his guts out. Ah, the visceral. Beast blood pellets. Nice. I don't know if I've ever used one of those, really, to much effect, but essentially, unless you go into, like, berserk mode, you deal more damage and take more damage, and the more damage you deal, the higher your beast meter gets, and then once it's full, you can... You're, well, the more full it is, the more damage you deal. Oh, wow, we are not as strong as I thought. I'm used to being able to get a uh, visceral stagger on that guy. I gotta be careful here. There's one more, there he is. One more werewolf that we gotta really watch out for, because this guy is an asshole. He is really strong. I don't know how, but he is stronger than all the other werewolves right here. Whoops. We're on the corner. I'm not, I'm not waiting for you or anything. <laughs> 84 damage, holy cow. How did that only do 84? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Just crushed his head. That works too. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that guy. He does extra poison damage, and he's stronger than the other werewolves around here. Oh, I think... Yeah, there's some items here. There's one other path I want to take before I go to the boss. We do want to level up. When you come around this corner, be ready. Because we have a scurrying beast. Take him out for three bloodstone shards. Very nice. Alright. So, going back this way. Oh yeah, there's some items here too. We got some bold hunter's marks. And I think... Is there like an antidote back here? Nope. Wow, the camera gets a little wonky when you move this fast around obstacles. Sorry about that. So, we're going to go back to the Hunter's Dream now and level up before fighting the next boss. We're going to do that by taking a shortcut that I teased in the previous episode. So, if we go back up this away, this is the room that the werewolf came exploding out of. It'll actually give us access to the other side of a locked door. And this is the fastest way to go from a lamp to fighting the next boss, which is called the Blood Star of the Beast. There's a strategy, actually, I want to try on this next boss that I've never used before. So you may have noticed, I don't know if we've actually got any. Pungent Blood Cocktails. Mature blood cocktails that release a pungent odor that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. It's pretty cool. And the next boss is called the Blood Star of the Beast. And uh, you can use these items with him. He is immensely distracted by them, and it'll let you get in a few free hits. The speedrunners for this game open the door. And remember I told you before that this was uh, going to be a shortcut? Now we can go right up back up this ladder to the lamp. Very nice. Um, if you use him on him, he gets really involved, and the speedrunners will use it to get him to go into a certain corner, and then just wail on him and essentially one-cycle him. It's really impressive. If you're into this game and you haven't watched an any percent uh, current patch speedrun, you really should, because it is impressive how well they just thrash all the bosses at a surprisingly low blood level. 
But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be playing at the, uh, the what would you, I wouldn't call it a, the long and long and slow way. But it's not exactly short and sweet either. I don't think we have any twin bloodstone shards yet, which I believe is what we need at this point to upgrade our weapon. Let's see. Yeah, we need twin bloodstone shards, and we have exactly zero. But we have 29 regular bloodstone, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our axe again. And there's no reason not to just throw some onto the pistol. I mean, why not? So, blood gems. We still only have two slots. What else have we got here? We got some slightly better ones. We don't really need the HP continues to recover. It's not going to do all that much for us, to be honest. And we can go ahead and stick two of them on this, too. I mean, why not? Get a little bonus on it. Couldn't hurt. Alright, so let's see here. Ooh, what's this? To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the scourge of the spread halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. The source of the spreading scourge. Lest the night carry on forever. Mm -hmm. How uh how scurry. Alright. Is there anything we need to buy? We could probably refill on blood vials. We got plenty of antidotes. We're gonna want those too. Okay. Oh, I wanted to pick this up at some point, so I'll just do it now. And get the hand lantern. Eh, I still don't want the thing. So we got the powder keg badge from fighting Jeru, Jura, whatever his name is, and that gives us access to the rifle spear and the stake driver. This is a very pointy weapon here. I don't know how good either of these are. I've never really worked with either of them. But this one has an attribute of 18 requirement for strength. So it's probably a strength-based weapon. We may want to give it a shot at some point. Uh, other than that, I think that's all we need there. So let's level up a few times, eh? Welcome. What is so this next boss is the Very one where well. our poison Maybe. resistance is going to matter. So let's see where it's at. 100? Yeah, I don't know if we can really change it a whole lot from here, but... We only get two more levels, huh? Alright, we'll just keep things even across the board. I think once endurance gets up to 20, we'll probably stop raising it. We're just not going to need it to be any higher than that. We're going to go up to a nice strength build. We'll probably put some points into skill whenever it becomes more profitable than putting points into strength. The next weapon we're going to get is one I really like and I'll probably use for a good chunk of the game if the, none of the others but prove to be particularly compelling. Alright, so now... Oh man, this one's... This next boss is going to be fun. I don't actually know what level I usually fight this boss at, but I feel like it's higher than where I am now just because success in this game sort of leads you to the naturally leads the game to be harder for you because it's sort of the way the game balances if you fail over and over well as long as you're grinding and getting blood echoes along the way and you know using your hunter's mark to get your blood echoes back from the boss and fleeing to go level up you're gonna make progress whereas and you're gonna level up more and more until you get to a point where you can do it but if you're mostly just getting good and not grinding a whole lot, the game can start to scale past you a little. Well, also, this guy jumps out the door. He never respawns. He's just not here. Unless that's him. I don't know. One, two. Again, these guys are worth like a thousand echoes, so there ain't no way I'm not going to fight him. But I guess I can grind off screen if required. For now... I'm going to run back past to these really scary enemies. See you later. Bye. Oh shit, he's following us. Alright, well, I guess he wants to fight. Yeah. Bad choice, buddy. <laughs> Should have left it be. Oh, you too, huh? Come here. Come on. How about one of these? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I love it. All right. Let's get down to this boss. So first things first. All right, we're going to want fire paper, 
We're going to want Molotovs. We don't want the monocular. We're going to want Antidotes. We're going to want Pungent Blood Cocktails. Maybe Beast Blood Pellets, too. And then... I guess I can put the lantern here on the end. So let me show you what this does. Oh, it's a little lantern. So now you can have a little bit of light around you when you uh, have a two-handed weapon and can't use a torch. Or if you just want to have a gun in your other hand. So I'll pretty much be using this from now on rather than the torch. It's worth the 2,000 echoes just for the convenience. Plus 2,000 echoes is just two wolves right there, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. I don't want to do this. I guess I will... Um, I'll use fire paper now. And I'll trigger the boss. We'll switch down to the pungent blood cocktail. We'll see if I can get this to work. But yeah, he's interested. He's interested. Oh no. No, I ruined my fire paper by putting the gun away. Oh, I feel like an idiot, dude. Oh, well, I'm stupid. Okay. That was a waste of a blood cocktail. Let's try again. Alright. Oh, you just totally whiffed. Nice, though. Very nice. <laughs> oh my god. That was embarrassing. Okay, so now we're just gonna keep our antidotes out. Whoops! Yeah, this is a boss where... We're gonna try and be a little more punchy. Cause he's if he gets you on your back foot, it's pretty bad. So you can roll right through most of that stuff he does. I'm not charging these at all. Whoop! Okay. This is just a heavy attack. So maybe I should just be doing light attacks. Oh. Let me see. He is weak to fire, that's why we're using fire paper. I didn't actually explicitly say that. Uh-oh. Oh, it seems to increase our damage by a lot. I'm gonna want to loop back around to that here. Alright, here it goes. Whoops! <laughs> you want some more? Come here, Scrub Lord. Whoop! Whoop, 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 whoop. This one's a cycle where he goes a few times. You can dive right through that attack if you go towards him. If you go away from him, he will catch up to you and ruin your day. Oh no, okay. So now we're poisoned. So our health is dropping rapidly. We gotta switch to our antidote. I'll try to use that without taking a million hits. Oh my god. Whoops! Alright, switch back to this. Heal. Okay. We're in there. <laughs> we're still in there. Oh my. Alright, I need to switch to the other version of this weapon. He is still weak to fire, so I can still poke him with the torch. But I assume that's going to do less damage than just stabbing him. Actually, it does slightly less than stabbing him, but not by a whole ton. Whoa. This is a boss where placement is really important. You've got to maintain your position relative to him. I guess I should be going for viscerals, so I can show those. Alright, I've never done this before. Let's see if I can get one. Whoa, okay. They're not that hard. <laughs> Very nice. Are you going to go to your next form? Yep, there it is. Oh, I could die in one hit if I'm not careful. Come at me, bro. Yes, it's very nice. Oh! Oh, I'm not familiar with this pattern. I'm normally much closer to him. Okay, I gotta run, but this is not gonna end well. Because I'm gonna have to use an antidote to stop the bleeding. And then, try not to die! Whoa, whoa. See what I mean about, if you run away from him, he's right on your ass. You really wanna be rolling past him, if at all possible. Problem is, at this phase, he's actually giving off a poisonous goo. That will poison us for as long as we're near him. So we just gotta be heavy on the antidotes, essentially. Alright, come on, buddy. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You like to yell. I get it. Oh, got him. Dude, that was a good chunk, too. Let's do that again. Whoa. Whoa. I also don't particularly like being locked onto him if I'm trying to dodge around him. Because most of the time... Oh, no. Okay, unlock. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Heal. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Heal. Antidote. Alright, we're still in it. That was close, though. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you're very scary. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Antidote. Blood vial. No! No, dude, don't do this now. Come on. Oh, my health is so low. Oh, I'm dead. He got me. Damn, that was close, too. That was really good for a first try, I gotta say. Especially considering I'm using a weapon I haven't used before against him, and I've never actually tried to get viscerals against him before. That was really close. I feel like we could have had that. I'm kind of disappointed now, actually. I want to give it another try at the same level, just to see if I can do it, but the problem is... We, we really don't want to stall out on this boss because the best way to fight him is to use fire paper. It, as, you, as you saw, it like doubles the damage you deal. So instead of repeatedly uh, dying to him and using fire paper and antidotes and burning through all our resources, instead, I'm going to grind a little. Just a few levels, you know, just so we can get our enough uh, blood vials to fill back up to 20. Get a 10 antidotes again, you know, maybe afford some fire paper. I don't know if we can actually buy any yet. It's, that's one of the things that I'm concerned about is, I think you unlock being able to buy it from the messengers after beating this boss. So we really don't want to get stuck at this boss without fire paper, because that makes it a lot harder. So just for the sake of maintaining my momentum, I'm going to do a little grinding. Would you please? Also, how many blood others do we have? Like 4,000? I don't know if it's worth it for me to go over to the boss room and get them back. But that is an option. So, I'm gonna grind for a bit. And then, uh, I'll come back when I'm ready to do the leveling up. Alright, we're back. So, first things first. We need to restock our, our, our stuff here. So let me just get 13 blood vials, so we're at max. I will refill on Quicksilver bullets as well. And antidotes, and oh, look at that. Our blood echoes are all gone. I guess we're trying again at the same level. Let's do this shit. I'll meet you back at the boss. All right, so we've arrived back at the boss. There are two things that we need to keep in mind here. One is that we are actually I haven't died since we lost to the boss, so our blood echoes are still in there somewhere. I don't know if I can see them. Oh, they're right in the middle of the room. Look at that. Okay, we can probably get those before the fight starts. The other thing is, all I have on my on my bar this time is antidotes and fire paper. And I'm also going to try using little light attacks on his booty rather than uh, the heavy ones, the big axe. So. Fingers crossed. Alright, let's go, buddy. Come here, scrub lord. Quit trying to run away. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot more effective than our single 200 damage hit. We'll go for a little flurry of 100 damage each. That's pretty good. Yeah, we have- whoa, wow, we're doing well. Okay. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Whoa. Come over here, you.
Whoops, okay. Not only is he poisoned now, but our fire paper ran out, so... We gotta do this quickly now. I don't want to be locked on. No! No, 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 no! Roll into it! Roll into it! Antidote. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, now we gotta finish him. Come here, Scrub Lord. No! No, 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 no. Fire paper ran out. All right, come on now. Take this seriously, please, sir. Fuck you. Who needs to level up? We got the Pathumaru. Yes, Pathumaru. No, we got the Thumaru Chalice. Which is the holy chalice worshipped in the valley hamlet that we were told about by Garenum. And we got our echoes back, and I think we got like eight, eight or ten thousand from the boss too. So there we go. There's our build, level 27. If you can beat the blood starved beast at a lower level than that. Well, post proof, I'd love to see it. I'm sure you, that there are people who can, but can you? So now we've unlocked this lantern, we have the best place to grind for blood echoes. Ooh, look at this. It's Ludwig's Holy Blade. A trick weapon usually used, typically used, by healing church hunters. Alright, first things first. Uh, let's just level up. Fuck blood vials. Welcome. Who needs to heal? Very well. Let. Alright, so let's go... Yeah, one of each. We'll just keep, keep this build going. Feeling stronger every day. Farewell. Thank you. Um, other than that, I think we're good. So now, so check this shit out. Oh, I use it my blood vials or my blood echoes. This won't work. But now we have a, a chalice, so we can conduct a chalice ritual. We need these ingredients over here on the right: a thousand blood echoes and ritual blood. And we can go into these chalice dungeons, which are essentially. They're not- some of them are randomly gener generated, some of them are not. If the chalice you use to make it is a root chalice, then it's randomly generated. Otherwise, it's not, and it's actually designed. And some of the hardest bosses and coolest items are down into the, in those chalices. The characters refer to them as the Tomb of the Gods. So, I think next episode, we'll explore that a bit, and at least beat this first one. I'm curious to see how easy it is at this level. Because I played through it for the first time as a New Game Plus character, and it was insanely easy. So I think it might be the perfect uh, challenge for our level 30 character right here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode.